Now we're going to look quickly at another module called SciPy, uh, which is for scientific, scientific Python. Uh, SciPy has lots of submodules, so you will often see it imported like this, where someone imports a specific submodule at a time. But you can also just import like NumPy, you can import SciPy, but you need to remember to call SciPy and the submodule that you're interested in and the function. So we're going to see what that looks like now with two examples. One is linear regression, and one is the blurring of an image with a Gaussian filter. You really don't need to understand the stats or the image and in that image processing that's going on here, or even these lines that are all about matplotlib. They're all for visualization. What we want you to focus in on is we are importing the module, just like we've imported other modules. We're creating some data. Uh, we're going to look at importing data from files a little bit later on in the course. Uh, so here we've got some X and Y data for linear regression, and here we've got a, a, a toy image, which is just a bright stripe of pixels on the diagonal. And then we're going to really quickly do linear regression, something which takes a couple of weeks of maths lessons at university level to understand the end dimensions and maybe a couple of weeks at uh, A level or, or whatever to, to get it practically. Early on. And from these x and y, we're going to get a slope, an intercept, an r value on that line, so how well it fits, a p value, so how certain we are about that fit, and standard error on that line. And then I'm going to plot that information for you, and you don't need to worry about that. Because this is toy data, we have to know it's a perfect line, so there's no error. But the blue dots are my toy data that I created, and this blue line is the linear regression. So you can see how in 15 lines of code, we've taken some raw data, we've done some linear regression to get a, a line of best fit, and we've created a plot. That's not bad. And likewise, we're going to do some image processing. We're going to create an example with a very bright line down the center here. We are then going to blur that line and plot it again. And again, this was one line of code to do that blurring, something that behind the scene is many, many lines of code. 